As a three Michelin starred chef, I've spent a career dedicated to celebrating the finest fish and seafood our oceans have to offer. But tragically, this could soon be a thing of the past. The same big five species, cod, haddock, tuna, salmon and prawns, make up 80% of all the fish we eat in the UK. But obliterated stocks mean we need to find alternatives. And there's one place I believe we can look to for answers, and that's history. Our ancestors were far more adventurous in the range of seafood and fish that they ate. And they were incredibly creative in the way that they cooked it. When it comes to tucking into the full range of delights our oceans have to offer, our culinary forefathers had no boundaries. In ancient Rome, stuffed jellyfish and sea urchin custard were hailed as ultimate delicacies. At Tudor banquets, internal organs from leftover fish were used to make desserts. And in Victorian times, everything from sea slugs to barnacles and sea anemones were trialled at posh dinners. So by looking into the past, I believe that we can uncover the future of sustainable marine cuisine. So I'm laying on my ultimate fish supper. I've invited six guests to my fabulous feast, and I'm hoping to dazzle them with my incredible seafaring gastronomy. The feast tonight is fish, but, it, but there's a sustainable theme, which is a bit worrying. I think he might be serving us goldfish or something like that. I'm, I'm slightly nervous. I, don't, I hope there's no fish genitals. I, d I don't know if they have them, but I really hope there aren't any. Uh, I think sometimes maybe he's a, he's a bit too crazy for his own good. You know, and you think, OK, that's fine. You're alone in your room, your bald head, your glasses, mad scientist, freezing this, burning that, blowing this up. Lovely, but I'm going to have to eat it. For a fully immersive eating experience, I'm sending my diners 20,000 leagues under the sea to my unique underwater dining room. Wow. It's like we're in a fish tank. Wow. <laughs> look at this. Look, it's just oh, great. My wow. Wow. Look wow. at this. Wow. Great table. It's a great table. Oh, look, is that Hairston? A slightly gay diver. <laughs> Cheers. 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 On my menu tonight, a fishy Victorian afternoon tea with a side order of giggly gas. <laughs> my new take of a seaside fish and chips served up with a rather saucy seagull. Oh, no! They're, they're carrying live ammunition. Oh. And my incredible edible coral reef dessert. Oh, my goodness. Crab biscuit is good. So it's time to set sail on my sustainable seafood adventure.